Hello and welcome to this very short tutorial on barrier line loads and wearing surface loads. We can see here in this form that we've selected this composite analysis checkbox, which means that we are explicitly modeling the concrete deck, which is now uh, fully stiff and which is acting fully compositely with the steel superstructure. We are also checking the wearing surface load and barrier line load uh, checkboxes here. This is actually the same skewed bridge uh, that we modeled in a previous tutorial, so I will not go over all these forms here which explain the different parameters of this bridge. We have the deck elevation here, which is the uh, ordinate of the deck, the mid plane of the deck, with respect to the zero point here. So in this case, given the thickness of the deck and given the the depth of the web of the girders, this comes equal to about 66 inches. The overhangs are 3 feet wide. The concrete modulus is, is quite low and this is because these are permanent loads, so we're using one third of E sub C, where E sub C is the Young's modulus for the concrete. I'm not going over these forms again. Again, we have lean on bracing here on the base, we are uh, defining just one segment to model the concrete deck. Okay, and we're using the same special fixities as in the other tutorial. We're using a two feet mesh size, a uniform uh, profile on the bridge. The wearing surface load will take it equal to 25 PSF, and the barrier line load will take it equal to 0.5 kip per foot. Okay. We are first going to look at the effects of the wearing surface, so one and one here, and let's run the model, which is quite a small model, 60,000 degrees of freedom. And we can see here that, hey, we've got all these arrows which show where the uh, wearing surface load is applied, so it's applied over the whole width over the whole surface of the deck. Let's turn off the loads and let's look at the linear elastic solution. We can see that the maximum displacement is, is low. It's about equal to about 0.5 inch. We could look at the sigma yy stresses, which are the longitudinal stresses. And here the deck is kind of hiding the compression stresses here. So what we can do is go to this button here and check, say, the sigma yy stress on the on the top face here and on the top node so that would be node number eight and the top face so uh, here layer number two and if we hit refresh we can see that hey the maximum compression is minus 1.5 ksi we can also look at the cross frame forces under the wear the wearing surface load and we can see that these forces are quite uh, low about three kips maximum of course as expected we can look also at the moment diagram under this under this load and note that this is the composite moment okay this is taking into account both the steel section and uh, the right width of the uh, concrete deck and both are acting fully compositely okay um, we can also look at the shear diagram if we want it and check other things such as the uh, support reactions okay this is something you can also get from the shear diagram now let's look at the effect from the barrier line load. So let's enter zero here and one there, and same here. And let's run the model again. And we can see now how these loads are applied. We can see that Again, the displacements are not big, it's actually a bit bigger, and we can see that, of course, the sides of the deck deflect more. We can again look, look at the sigma yy stresses, about 3.5 ksi, look at the cross frame forces, again, uh, slightly, slightly bigger here. But uh, uh, again, I hope this tutorial was useful. This is the first tutorial on a composite analysis between the steel superstructure and the concrete deck, and uh, this goes together with further tutorials on live load analysis. Thank you.